Jay Slater. Mm. Um, guys, great job in this. And I, I, I've read the book. I've seen the movie twice, by the way. Um, really? Yeah. Why? Because I saw it on the junket, and I was there that weekend, and then I saw it again yesterday because it's changed. So. What did you think? Yeah, I was happy minutes. with the second version. The second but version. I've read the book too, right? So I. So you know, I, so you know how I, it ended. I'm right. a Nicholas Sparks sucker. So Are you, you guys? She, she, yes. I mean, I mean, I don't know really who was. It. It's very cathartic. The books, but it more the, 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 I, I get around to the movies. I just don't get around to the books. Yeah. Well, what was the last movie that made you just like ball like a baby? Brothers. Um. Hmm. That was tough. Finding Neverland for some weird reason. I, I, yeah, I remember like crying my eyes out on the plane watching it and being like <laughs> and the guy looking next to me like I'm just like I don't know like, <laughs> don't you hate that on the plane when you're balling yeah you're it's like, such a, you look like a freak uh, Marley and me oh yeah I, like, I couldn't watch that movie the movie was like it was too it's too depressing for me it's, I just, I had to oh animals it dying it's, it's tough. just it's sorry really tough. I just don't want to say don't it. go there um, <laughs> in this film I, you know you two had instant chemistry I mean Savannah and John obviously they see each other there, there's something there what was it like when you when you guys met did you have that kind of instant chemistry too right away I liked him so much I was like god he's so grounded he's so that guy that you want to be around like because he's funny and casual and, and doesn't take much seriously that's really important thank you man same I you know she, look she walked in and, and we were really excited to, to just even get to meet her for her to come in and I think as soon as we all got together, we were all eating lunch, and I don't know, it was just sort of everything just clicked. She just makes everybody laugh, and she's such a free, sort of free person, you know, that you just want to, you want to be around her. And she sings to you. You know, I wish she sang more He's to me. He's a fan of my voice. He makes me feel really good about it. I, I'm, I wish she would sing more, a lot more. Well, I'm a fan of your voice, too. I've told you this before. Yes. And you wrote the song. I mean, yeah. that's pretty amazing. Are we going to get a, a soundtrack or a, an album from you soon? No. Why, Amanda? Um, I'm just, I, I, uh, I'm not really a songwriter. I just happened to write a few songs while I was in Charleston because I was so ins inspired by, I, it really was just the romance of being in a beautiful old city. But, you know, I don't, I don't sit at my piano and, and write songs all day. I mean, I, I wish I did. That's if it. I did, I would write an, I would definitely write an album, but it's okay. It's not really something I, I think it would be, boring for me. Well, you did a great, that uh, was a Thank really you. beautiful song, by the way. You did a great job. Um, letter writing. It's kind of a dead art these days, you know? Everyone texts and emails and stuff, but getting a letter, there's just nothing like it. I agree. What, how do you guys feel about that? It, you know, you do know, you even, even write anymore? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Definitely haven't. I don't, I, don't, I don't even remember ever writing and actually posting and sending a letter that wasn't like a check, you know, or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, didn't have something. But, I, you know, I do write notes and stuff. Like, I'll write notes and leave them around for my wife or something. And I, or, I'll, like, for Christmas, I wrote her a story and gave it to her as a present. You know, because she That's asked me to. That's the best kind of present. But, it really is. But I, I don't know if I've ever, especially to someone, like, that I really cared yeah. about, wrote, a, like, a letter. I don't know. May, maybe in college to my, like, high school sweetheart. But. You've got to be inspired in, in a certain way. I mean, I'm... I'm more inspired artistically, so I, I'll, mm. I'll make a card for somebody or I'll paint something. Mm. But to write a letter, I just don't feel very confident in my writing skills. And that's, I think that's all it comes down to. I mean, if I, if I knew exactly what I wanted to say and it was all planned out in my head, I would, I would go ahead and do it. But a lot of effort goes into it. <laughs> it that, yeah, and, and these letters in the, in the film, I mean, you know, they're And that's passionate. all they have, too. I mean, they don't have the connection of being present, it's, you know, to being in the same place. Yeah. There's so much going on in this film. I could talk for a long time about it, but what the, I think the scene that really struck me the most, and I cried both times I've seen it, was when you're in the hospital with um, your dad, uh, the character's dad, and oh my God, you know, when you connected with him, what was it like? And, and first of all, to work with with Richard, too. I mean, wow. God. I, <laughs> you know, it, at first it's very, very... Um, you know, you're intimidated because you're like, you know, I haven't done a lot of really, really emotional scenes like that. And, you know, you kind of always wonder, you're like, oh, God, am I going to be able to get there? Or, you know, do I even need to get there? I don't know what the right, I know it says, you know, and John breaks down or whatever. He can't, you know, and that's, that's a really weird line to read in a script mm -hmm. because you're just like, oh, I, I know what it says. You know, I wish I didn't sort of have that in my head to, to expect it. But having someone there like Richard, totally makes you forget all that. Um, he's so sort of present and there for you. And which, you know, it's 
It's the same with the man, and it's the same with you know a lot. All good actors, you know, they they're just as soon as you get there and you look him in the eyes, you're like, oh, we're just having a conversation. You know, it's, this is just a real situation, and I really think I owe that that scene to him because uh, the moment he brought his hand up, yeah. uh, it was just a rip my heart out you know oh, yeah it was beautiful and he didn't do it on all of them you know i think he made a really specific decision to you know yeah to do it on one that yeah he thought it was, was it was one. very beautiful okay so tips for getting through love scenes toughest things you guys have to do when you make a alcohol movie? <laughs> i think you have to laugh through them <laughs> you gotta have a sense of humor if you're gonna make especially him being a newlywed at the time too right <laughs> i know I was engaged, yeah. Right. Yeah. no but you're about to yeah. it was just like <laughs> It'll it'll never get easy. It'll never be easy. You think that because you're working with someone sort of your age and on your level and someone who's had like the same kind of amount of experience, that'll be easier. Oh, it's just awkward. But especially when it's so tech, it's very technical. And I, I know I'm sure you've heard a million actors say that, and has, but it's true. Yeah, it's such a it's choreography in a way. Um, but there is a sort of a uh, comfortable you know you want to take care of each other because you're both in it together yeah, and yeah you're like, we're both kind of you're like this is this is really uh it's not, it's not easy it's not easy thing to do but you know it can be kind of hilarious and fun if you if you allow it to be that well you made it work you made these characters work big Thanks. time you did a beautiful job and i have to say <coughs> nobody wears army fatigues like channing tatum <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's it. You can wear that all day long, every day, twenty four seven. I'm pretty I'm sure concerned. the real soldiers wear them a little better than I do. <laughs> but, but, uh, but thank You're you. You're good very at pretending. Much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can pre can pretend like a mother. You sure can. You guys are great. Nice Thanks. talking to you. Thanks, Thanks for coming nice to town. Thank you. Thank good you. to see you again.